we now discuss the solution of a problem from the section linear algebra the problem is based on eigen values diagonalization and the the dimensions of the eigen spaces this question has appeared in CSIR National Eligibility Test held on 16th February 2022 and it is from the section B. The question is, let M be a 3 by 3 matrix given by the first row 0, minus 1, 0, the second row 1, 2, minus 1, the third row, 1, 1, 3. Given that 1 is an eigenvalue of m, which of the following statements is true? We are given 4 options. Option 1, minus 2 is an eigenvalue of m. Option 2, 3 is an eigenvalue of m. Option 3. The eigenspace of each eigenvalue has dimension 1. Option 4. M is diagonalizable. We are given a 3 by 3 matrix and further it is given that 1 is an eigenvalue of M. So we have to find the eigenvalues of this matrix and and to discuss whether it is diagonalizable or not and we have to find the eigenspace of each eigenvalue and we have to find the that the eigenspace of each eigenvalue has dimension 1 or not. So we will now discuss the solution of the problem in detail. We are given this 3 by 3 matrix and we are further given 1 is an eigenvalue of m. Let lambda 1 is equal to 1, lambda 2 and lambda 3 be the eigenvalues of m. Then the sum of the eigenvalues of the matrix is equal to the trace of the matrix m and the product of the eigenvalues is equal to determinant of m. The sum of the eigenvalues is lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 3 is equal to the trace that is the sum of the diagonal entries in this matrix is 0 plus 2 plus 3 and uh, the product of the eigenvalues is lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 is the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix and lambda 1 is 1 and uh, when you expand this determinant by first row you will get uh, 3 plus 1 that is equal to 4 so that is here lambda 1 is 1 so lambda 1 plus lambda 2 is 5 minus 1 4 lambda 2 lambda 3 is 4 now it is very easy to see lambda 2 is equal to lambda 3 is equal to 2 that means uh, this eigenvalue 2 is repeated twice that is its algebraic multiplicity is 2 thus the eigenvalues of m are lambda 1 is equal to 1, lambda 2 is equal to lambda 3 is equal to 2. That is 2 is a repeated eigenvalue repeated 2 times. Now let us look at our options. Option 1 says minus 2 is an eigenvalue of m. Option 2 says 3 is an eigenvalue of m. Both are not true. Therefore the options 1 and 2 are not true. We will further discuss in the next slide. We have this matrix and the eigenvalues are lambda 1 is equal to 1, lambda 2 is equal to lambda 3 is equal to 2. Now note that the algebraic multiplicity of lambda 1 is equal to 1 because it is repeated only once. And uh, we know that uh, the geometric multiplicity is always less than or equal to arithmetic. arithmetic algebraic multiplicity, the geometric multiplicity is always less than or equal to the algebraic multiplicity. The algebraic multiplicity of lambda 1 is equal to 1 is 1. Therefore, geometric multiplicity is less than or equal to 1. That is, geometric multiplicity of lambda 1 is equal to 1 is 1. And uh, 
this geometric multiplicity further gives the dimension of the eigenspace of lambda 1 is equal to 1. So, this implies the eigenspace of the eigenvalue lambda 1 is equal to 1 has the dimension 1. So, that is the story so far. Let us go for the lambda 2 is equal to lambda 3 is equal to 2. Note that the algebraic multiplicity of the eigenvalue lambda 2 is equal to lambda 3 is equal to 2 is 2. So, the let the eigenvector x is equal to x, y, z and this is the eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalues lambda 2 is equal to lambda 3 is equal to 2 and uh, this eigenvector is given by m minus 2i, m minus lambda 2i multiplied by x, this column vector is equal to the 0 vector. This implies m minus 2i is uh, now subtract 2 from the diagonal entries, you will get this multiplied by the column vector x, y, z is equal to the 0 vector. Now, we have to solve for x, y, z. Now, we see now for our take R2, that is second row, multiply by 2, from that subtract the corresponding element entries of the row 1. So, R2 is 2R2 minus R1. In a similar fashion, R3 is 2R3 minus R1. So, when you do it, when you do it, you will get this matrix multiplied by x, y, z is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, add, add the second row, the elements of second row to the elements, corresponding elements of the third row. Then you will get a, a row reduced echelon form of this. This is the row reduced echelon form what we have obtained and uh, this multiplied by x, y, z is equal to 0, 0, 0. Thus, this matrix M is now reduced to row reduced echelon form. Now, we have this row reduced echelon form. Agreed. Now, let R be the rank of M minus 2i. The rank of M minus 2i is the rank of the row reduced echelon form that is 2. There are two non-zero rows in this echelon form. Therefore, the rank of the row reduced echelon form is 2. The dimension of the eigenspace corresponding to lambda 2 is equal to lambda 3 is equal to 2 is given by n minus r where n is the order of the matrix that is 3 minus r that is 2 that is equal to 1. So, the dimension of the eigenspace corresponding to lambda 2 is equal to lambda 3 is equal to 2 is 1. Now, what we see the geometric multiplicity will be given by lambda for the lambda 2 is equal to lambda 3 is equal to 2 is n minus r which is equal to 1. And uh, we note uh, the algebraic multiplicity of lambda 2 is equal to lambda 3 is equal to 2 is 2, but the geometric multiplicity is only 1. Therefore, they are not equal for the for the eigenvalues lambda 2 is equal to lambda 3 is equal to 2. Therefore, m is not diagonalizable. So, when algebraic multiplicity is not equal to geometric multiplicity, then the given matrix m is not diagonalizable. And uh, let us look at the options. Our option 4 says m is diagonalizable, but it is not. Therefore, the option 4 is not true. Now, we have already seen the eigenspace of the eigenvalue lambda 1 is equal to 1 has dimension 1 and for lambda 2, the also the dimension of the eigenspace corresponding to lambda 2 is equal to lambda 3 is equal to 2 is 1. Thus, uh, what you get is uh, from 1 and 2, the eigenspace of each eigenvalue has dimension 1 that is precisely our option 3. Therefore, the option 3 is true. Our answer is option 3. That is the discussion of the solution of the problem which is based on the eigenvalues and the diagonalization and the 
dimension of the eigenspace of the eigenvalues. I am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem and go on working out some more problems on these lines from a standard textbook. I wish you all the best. Thank you.